Hi guys, Stormy Strike here, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving my thoughts on this the um, spirit riding free photo of the new traditional series horses that are coming out from Briar. I also just want to kind of address, in case there's any grief surrounding this, which I kind of don't think there is, but in case there is, I just want to say it. So, I did not take this photo, by the way, I've got it from someone else on Facebook. I did not actually take this photo. I believe Lisa Breyer Perkins is the one who originally shared it or something. I didn't originally take it and I didn't know until after I already posted it that this picture was supposedly not supposed to come out until February. So it is technically a leaked photo and I'm, I don't know if people care about like if they're angry about that or anything. But I just want to say I'm sorry if you're angry about me doing that. I didn't know until after I already posted it or after I already shared it. I didn't actually post the original one. After I already shared it, I didn't know that this is technically not supposed to come out until February. But it's out now, so not much we, anybody can do now. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give my thoughts on it and about Spirit Writing Free in general. I've heard that it's supposed the series is supposed to come out on Netflix on in, during spring of this year. That's what I've heard. I don't know if that's actually true. I've also heard people say that's not going to come out until fall. So I have no idea. Apparently Briar is going to probably start releasing their information on it. This February though, they'll probably start releasing official photos and stuff on their website and stuff. At least that's what I've gathered from the rumors I've heard. But I don't know anything exact. Like I don't work for Briar or DreamWorks or Netflix or any of those. So I don't know any of the specific information. I'm just passing along the information that I find. But I do want to talk about this uh, picture here because... Um, yeah, I just kind of give uh, give some thoughts on it and on spirit writing free in general, but I also have a friend with me. This is original spirit from uh, the traditional spirit original one from 2002. So I have him with me too, and so I'm going to be um, comparing him with the other ones in a minute. Let's uh, just, I guess, talk about the horses first, uh, each model first, and then I'll talk about uh, spirit writing free in general. I guess, uh, just kind of my, my thoughts on it all and just whatever I'm kind of thinking here. The first horse that I want to talk about is on the top of the picture here, which is Boomerang, which I'm actually super excited. Whether the series is really bad or really good, I'm just excited about Boomerang though because he looks super cute. <laughs> he looks adorable. This model is, uh, it does look like it's on a new mold. I've heard some people say that they think it's a reworked mold. Based on what I see, I'm pretty sure it's a new mold. It's kind of like in a similar pose as a uh, a couple other ones but it looks like a new mold to me I don't think it's a reworked one I think it's a new one the mold looks really cute it looks a uh, pretty car it's kind of cartoony looking which I think was good though because it matches like the other look of the other two like him and stuff they're kind of cartoony horses so like, they're kind of like borderline realistic and cartoony like yeah I think he looks really good for that, the boomerang one here I think his colors are cute and stuff and like I don't know he just is really cute He's a really cute looking little horse, so I definitely want to get him. I don't care if the TV show is like really bad. I need to get Boomerang because he looks just so darn cute. And I guess that's that's pretty much all I have to say about him. And at the top of the picture, I, I think it says right like right above him, it says like racing along or riding, uh, riding along or racing along, something like that. I don't really know. I'm just uh, kind of going off this picture here. Second, we'll move on to the new spirit, which is not really spirit, with the blaze and without the dorsal stripe, I'm assuming, too. And it says, like, standing proud and free above the picture here. I'm sorry, I'm, like, looking at this at my phone. You're seeing the picture right here, but I'm seeing it down here. So, this video is kind of strange. But, yeah, he basically looks exactly like the original spirit. The only thing is that they probably took off his dorsal stripe, because this one does have the dorsal stripe. But, yeah, here's the original uh, spirit that... Basically, the new one looks exactly like this one, except it's got white on its face. That's that. It's pretty much and probably no dorsal stripe. But otherwise, it does look pretty much the same. The new one does look like it has maybe some more shading, like a little bit darker shading, or that could just be the photo like that they took, that it looks darker. But really, it looks like it's going to be pretty much the same. Maybe he is a bit darker because I've kind of also heard that maybe Spirit's color is actually like, supposed to be darker than the original one because of the copywriting thing and stuff that that could be another reason so he could be a little bit of a darker buckskin color in the new new spirit I'm guessing but otherwise he does seem pretty much similar to this one um, I'm not sure if I will actually get the traditional the new traditional spirit or not 
Uh, I probably will end up getting it at some point. Whether or not I like the series, probably just to add to my spirit collection. I don't know. But I do love the original spirit, and like they just did it on the same mold, which totally makes sense to me. I know uh, some people might not like that because it's they just basically are releasing the same horse but with white on his face and just a tiny bit different. But um, I totally get why they did that because they didn't want to probably make a new mold if they didn't have to. And honestly, I love this mold. I think the spirit mold is really cool. Um, I think it's really, really nicely sculpted and stuff. And it looks awesome. So I don't blame them for for doing that and stuff. I don't know. Also, I do have rain, by the way. I just didn't feel like pulling her out right now because I didn't really have much to show you with her. And I'm, I, don't, I don't really have much to show you with him either. I just brought him out because I felt like I should. So yeah, Spirit. Um, this one will probably always be my favorite. I love, I love this model very, very much. But let's move on now, I guess, to talk about the next horse, which is Chica Linda. And, all right, can we just say for a moment, if this is the, if the horse is Chica Linda, that means the girl's name is Prudence. What mother thought that was a good idea? I don't know. What writer thought that was a good idea? I don't know. But whoever thought that was a good idea, what were you thinking? I'm just, I mean, Prudence, really? Come, come on, come on. That's, that's not a good name. Anyway, Chica Linda here is actually on the rain mold, which means I guess Chica Linda is a girl horsey then. I'm, I'm guessing Boomerang is a boy, Spirit is obviously a boy, and then I'm guessing Chica Linda is a, a mare. So, yeah, there's there's that. It's basically just new colors on the rain mold. And she's like a Palomino with a white muzzle, white legs, white mane and tail, and I don't know. I'm um I probably will get this one whether or not I like the show either uh, whether or not I like the show either just because it's a pretty It looks like it's going to be a pretty model even if it's not really yeah. I like the rain mold too. I have um a couple I have, wait. I guess I just have two in the rain mold, but yeah. That's like all they've released is two in the rain mold, so that's all I have. But yeah, Chica Linda, she's cute. Um, not as cute as Boomerang. Boomerang has definitely won the cuteness award here. But I will be uh, probably getting Chica Linda too, just cause, well, I'll probably end up getting all of them. We'll be honest here, I'll probably just end up getting all of them and be like, okay, here they all are, and we're going to do a review on them. Yeah, there's there's the, my thoughts on it, uh, about spirit writing free in general. I'm terrified mostly about the story and the animation, and it is upsetting that they changed Spirit too. But I'm gonna be totally okay with that if this isn't if the new Spirit isn't really Spirit. If the new Spirit is Spirit's grandson or something, then I'm gonna be totally cool with the fact that he has like different markings and stuff. If it's like a different horse, if they do just decide to be like, oh, this is the same horse, we're just changing his story completely, then I'm not gonna be cool with that. But it's, it's got to be just a relative of spirit, it's grandson or something. It's not going to be the actual spirit, and so I am actually okay with that. The fact that it's that he's going to have like a different fab to have a blaze and no dorsal stripe and all that. That's how I'm going to be okay with that. If They they better do that in the story. They I don't see any way they can't make it so that this other horse is not really the original spirit. Like, I seriously have no idea what... Because the timeline seems different for the new series and everything. It just has to be his grandson or something. At least that's what I'm thinking. I know it's what other people are thinking too. So let's just really hope that's uh, what they're doing. As for the series in general, I'm not really excited about it, I'd say. I'm more curious about it. I'm excited about the toys. <laughs> I will admit I'm really excited about the toys. I'm excited about the briars and stuff. But um, for the series itself, I'm more curious right now. I'm not excited about it. I'm just curious about it. I'm really curious to see what the animation's going to be. And I'm really, really terrified that it's not going to be good. And I'm really curious to see what the story is like. And the voice acting. And whatever else. I'm worried that they're going to, like, focus mo more on the fact that they have a younger audience that they're focusing on. I know already from, based on everything, obviously they're, it's a, ge a geared uh, kids show. But I hope they don't make it super... I can't even really put into words what I'm saying right now. I just hope they make it good and keep in mind that there is going to probably be an adult audience or an older audience that is going to be interested in this, in this and that they make the story good-ish, hopefully, 
and make the voice act, hopefully the voice actors are kind of good too or something. Hopefully just the whole thing will be okay. I really don't think any of us can expect it to be like nearly as good as the original movie of course. The original movie of course had a much bigger budget and it, you know, a movie instead of a Netflix series. So we can't expect it to be great. We can maybe hope for it to be good is how I'm looking at it. And like I have no idea like I don't think any information has been released yet on like who the writers are or like producers or directors or anything yet. So I have like no idea like what to even base any thoughts about it on. I have like no idea what the people who are working on it, what other like stuff they've done or anything either. So I don't know. I just have like no idea what we're in for. I'm terrified <laughs> because of that. Um, I'm also curious, but a little terrified because if it's really bad, it's gonna, it's just, that's, eh. I'm gonna buy the toys though. <laughs> Briar suckered me in. Briar, you always sucker me in. I will be probably buying all the, um, not all of the toys, but probably a lot of them because, like I said, there's a lot of them that I think look really cute and stuff, even if the series is not so great. I still love the horses, so yeah. I, I don't know if I have much else to say about it. I've kind of already talked about some of my other thoughts in my other videos on it, I think. So I guess that's all. That's kind of my thoughts on the uh, Spirit Riding Free Briar Traditional Collection, or what it says on the picture is Briar Traditional Series Spirit Co Collection, whatever. I still don't have words on exactly what I'm feeling about all of this. But I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to see my other Spirit Riding Free videos, if you haven't seen them yet, I will put a link to that playlist up here in the cards, uh, down here in, in the description and at the end of this video. As always, I hope you guys have a super duper awesome day. And Spirit hopes you have a super duper awesome day too. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!